Guys, we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Ready, Bugs? Hey, I'm Bugsy. Hey, I'm Sakamara. It's hey, everybody. It's your favorite. It's your favorite Bugsy lookalike. Neville, could you talk like a normal person? Fine, Jesus. Bugsy, you get so, you get so worked up. Because the only person that should do that voice is me. And you don't even do it when you're a devil man. You just totally do that. You just totally do that for freaking theatrics. I wonder, I wonder if, I wonder if Reyes will approve that. Fuck you, Bugsy. You know Reyes doesn't approve. Reyes doesn't fucking care about me. Well, not in the way I want her to. Fuck my life. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! I mean, you wanna trade? You wanna trade? You wanna trade painful stories with me and Bugsy? Shit! Yeah, you think you got it bad? We, me and Bugsy had it bad, bad. Giant sword. Now I can't emphasize enough. If you haven't seen the series, it is super hardcore. Like it deals with really heavy themes. But it is really cool and really rewarding if you stick it out. The animation is okay. It goes with the computerized animation that the films went with. It's not like the original 1997 anime series. So it takes a little getting used to depending on what your preference for animation style is. Dude. We just one of those people that don't fucking care about CG. If, it's lo if it looks good to us, we don't care. I know, I hate when people be like, oh my god, it's CG, so I must hate it. I'm a traditional and I'm a traditional 2D anime fan. I don't like 3D. 3D scares me. I'm just like, you know, 3D is 3D, guys. I mean, fuck it. I like it. He said, oh, it's not like it's it's not like it's harmful, you know. It's not like it's harmful. It just gotta be done right. Not too much, not too little. Hmm. Speaking of, you guys want to watch? Yeah, Neville, you want to watch them? Okay. Wendy's new bacon mozzarella burger goes above and beyond the awesome Here's flavor you expect. Because Wendy's spin on the bacon mozzarella burger. Yeah, and our universe, uh, you think it's kind of like me and uh, Bugsy's burger, so uh, we don't really hate them. I mean, I don't either, but. Do it with us. So. Ah, oh, man, just, you know, deal with it, buddy. Greetings, everyone. You know, this year marks the 25th anniversary I'm just saying, of Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm just saying, buddy. You gotta yeah, the blue run's still... I'm just saying, Ness, Ness, you don't have to work with them. You know? You gotta put your own jealousy aside, because, you know, Reyes is gonna need you. You're like, you're like a fucking, you're, you're her other knight, right? Yeah. So, just deal with it, buddy. Okay? And... I know there's probably not a lot of chicks for you to bank because everybody wants Issei. But. 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 But what were you gonna say? What were you gonna say? But. Uh. 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 uh Bugsy, you know, uh. I mean, he could probably get that Valkyrie chick that's, uh. joining. That joint that's joining your team now. I I guess I could. <laughs> I actually had to be in ECS. I actually had to be at ECS school as kind of the teacher. What do you teach? Phys Ed. AP. Yeah. <laughs> well, what's must be at must be cool. Well, everybody's still going down to, you know, down below for, you know, training and seeing Reyes's, seeing Reyes's brother. And I'd rather not go down there because 
you know, you know, you guys seen High School at DXC. You know how it is down there. You know how Brace's brother is. You know. You don't want to go down there because you don't want Reyes' brother to fix you. You don't want Reyes' brother to fix you up with Reyes against her will. So you want to stay up here with us. So that's why you've been chilling out here with us. Eh, yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's okay, man. Just be honest. Yeah, me and Bugsy don't care. Just if you want to chill with us, chill with us. Fuck. Let everybody else do their thing. I mean, pretty much, you're pretty much like Bugsy anyway, so you are a Chaos DD, so you really, you, I mean, you can't get any stronger than you already are now, and I don't think they need you that much. If they did, you could just jump through one of their little circles. Alright? Yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, so, just chill. Hang out with us. Yeah, let's, have some, let's have some fun. Okay? Sure. Guys, mind if I smoke? Nah, go right ahead. Thanks. The other bugs is right. You are really, 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 really nice. Well, you are a version of me, so I might as well. You know, it's just... It's natural. Yeah, and any, any version of Bugsy is, is a bro of mine. So, just, you know, relax. And remember, if Reyes needs you to just to get one of those circles to come fetch you, but remember, you got, you got bros in this dimension. Do you have bros in your dimension? Yeah, but they're, uh... Hey, you gotta find this funny, Bugsy. Uh, my Harima and my Ansegamaru, they're uh, angels. And you chose to be a devil. Well, speaking of that, uh, oh. See, our chaos powers have been snuffed out, so I had one opportunity go to, you know, be with Reyes and become a devil, or be up there with the angels. And again, the angels and devils, if you've seen High School like DXT, they're not really, they're really not good or bad, it depends on, it depends on which we're provoked. Yeah, we still got, we got some devils trying to fucking start another war, but other than that, there isn't really anything going on. Um, is your Reyes pregnant? God, no. I don't know if I can take... Guys, I don't know if I can take that. Dude, me and Bugsy can tell you a few things, man. You just gotta endure it. Yeah, you gotta endure it. I know it's gonna be weird, I know it's gonna be awkward. If you guys have, like, a romantic history, it's gonna be weird and awkward, but you gotta deal yeah. So, even if it does tear you on the inside, trust me, I know how that feels. You gotta, you gotta push that aside and do your work. That's all you gotta do. Thanks, guys. Yeah, now can we stop talking about our feelings and watch some, and watch a Madden review some Sonic while we, while we both, while we all watch? Kicking through the ups, downs, and all arounds after all this time. So I might as well start celebrating with reviewing something that was released during another Sonic anniversary. Sonic Genesis. Not that one uh, on the screen. Ah, huh, there we go. Yeah, let's not even yes, talk about Sonic the freaking GBA version. Oh, that GBA version can go suck a dick. War Park comic miniseries released during Sonic the Hedgehog's 20th anniversary. There is some setup to this story, so let's go over that quickly. First of all, it takes place back in the old comic continuity. Eggman recently recovered from a bout of insanity. That is, straight jacket and pad cell insanity. Yes! What? And it was glorious. <laughs> you guys, do, does anybody still remember when he fucking flipped out? 
I remember. He was he was fighting Sonic, and you know it was this big big thing he had planned, and then he lost. He's like, ah, I fucking I hate that it. Ah, and he's ripping his mustache. He, he was twitching on the ground. It was fucked up. Like I think this is the only comic where we ever saw Eggman actually crumble under the weight of his own insanity. <laughs> So I, that was awesome, but yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess he would want to change the world after all that shit. I mean, Snively and the Iron Queen were in the back, in the front seat, you know, making out. Back and he was in the back seat. Out why you know what I mean? Can't beat Sonic. It's due to the chaos factor or the X factor, that unpredictability the Hedgehog possesses, and he's planning to change all of that. And, he he got to and you know what I think? He th what he thought like plunging Sonic into. The game world would stop him. If anything, it made him even more powerful. <laughs> yeah, Doc, you didn't really think that through, did you? Did you? Um, they got that Sonic Mega Drive comic. Are we gonna? Are we going to? Are we going to? Are we going to he also acquired a Chaos Emerald for his plan, and yes, he went into the special zone to get it. When Eggman launched an attack using the Death Egg, only Sonic and Sally made it inside. On their way to Eggman, they encountered a brand Silver new Sonic. Silver Sonic. As Sonic played with the giant robots, Sally went on ahead where she had a fateful encounter with a gun turret. Dr. Eggman initiated the next stage of his plan by pressing a button that enveloped everything in a white light. I'm jumping the gun a bit, but this is indeed the Genesis Wave, mm -hmm. the first time it's used. It's time to witness the aftermath and get this anniversary story yeah, started. Yeah, Sally, um, Sally almost... If the Genesis wave never happened, Sally got shot. Oh, man, that would have been horrible for Sonic. If he really had to deal with that, that would have been horrible. Yeah. Like, you, th you think this Sonic is a little bit more hateful to Robotnik? Think about it, if he ever lost Sally, Robotnik would be dead. Our story begins with Sonic Robotic would be fucking Hill dead. Zone. He's investigating why people and animals are going missing when he comes across a group of motobugs for the first time. After questioning these robots' nature, as well as giving them their signature names, Sonic destroys them. Well, at least Sonic knows what's happened to the animals. Sonic then hitches a ride on a new Tom Badnik so he can get to its boss quickly. Said boss, at least in this area, is Snively, who's been collecting animals for his uncle. That is, until Sonic uses See, his I really think they could still, like, they could still, like, implement the Freedom Fighters in the Sonic games. What do you, I mean, maybe that's what they're doing now. You don't know. I doubt it, Neville. I mean, it's been, it's, 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 a, it's the 25th anniversary, man. It, we, if we ain't gonna get them now, if we're not gonna get them if we didn't get them then, we're not gonna get them now. And to destroy the I don't castle. know, thanks. Sonic assigns Blank to Snively for what's going on. Snively reveals he's part of a bigger design. That of his uncle, Dr. Eggman. Bugsy, can you do the Snively voice? Alright, alright, alright. The, des <laughs> the designs of my brilliant uncle, Dr. Eggman. Dr. <clears throat> Give me Dr. Eggman. I can't even get it. I can't get Plants it, guys. Nature the greenery and all the end. I can't. Like, the, the birds are covering and it. Animals will power his robots. Sonic call the, po the power sh is shiny robots. The world will not be. will not only work alike. We're going to become a well oiled A well oiled machine. A well-oiled machine, sir. <laughs> wow, what a... Wow, what a jerk. No, he's not. He's brilliant. He's brilliant. Brilliant, I say. <laughs> brilliant, I say. I can't do Charlie Adler's thing. But... Like <laughs> Snively... Unlike Snively... Do you even remember all the times Eggman fucking beats the shit out of you just because you don't even get a plan right? And how you defected to the Freedom Fighters and you still got tempted over to the dark side? 
Snively, you are the definition Snively of weak. To whip out the ball and chain. Still, thanks to Sonic speed, he easily beats You had a fucking good and life and you wanted to go back Sonic to freaking on capsule to You wanted to go back to your uncle. A few individuals. Hello. Oh yes, yeah. We are introduced to this world's version of Sally Acorn and her friends, Boomer Walrus and Antoine the Part Dude. Sonic figures they're some of the missing people. Before Sonic leaves, Sally explains the that they're investigating what is and trying to stop the part Eggman from Dude? De Colette. I don't even remember. I think it was Depardieu first, and then they changed Deco West. There is also another problem. I think I'm they not believe sure. Doctor Eggman's also responsible for a series of big earthquakes. Sally asks Sonic to join them with an obvious "this hedgehog's cute" expression on her face. Mm. Sonic refuses since they'll slow him down. However, Sally says they've scouted ahead and can take <laughs> him on the direct route to Eggman's stronghold. It's most it's all it's like this the that just makes you happy in the Joe Freaking Sonic Alley fan. Well, no, Bugsy, I'm a freaking Sonic Alley fan. Yeah, not really. Fuck, fuck that noise. I'm a freaking Sonic Alley fan. I don't. I mean, dudes. See, if Sally was a part of the actual game's canon. Sonic would be with Sally, okay? Not with Amy. P probably not with Blaze, because Blaze and Sonic are not in the same dimension. I think if they were, they would be together. That's just me. That's also... That's how I think, too. Dude, that's cool. We got a lot in common. A passage to Eggman's base. They're attacked by a counter killer, but Boomer takes care of that pretty easily. With more robots coming, Antoine decides to stay out of the way by hiding in a cave, which is also a hiding place for bad brain badniks. Sonic takes care of them no problem, but Sally praises Antoine for discovering these badniks. Boomer decides. <laughs> Ain't that backwards? Is it? Wouldn't, wouldn't Angela get none of the praise and then, like, Sonic would get all the praise and he'd get... Yeah. <laughs> to rebuild and exactly. reprogram a buzz bomber to fight way. with them. Unfortunately, it still requires an animal to power it, which is Eggman levels of wrong. Sally solves that problem by asking a flicky for help by singing to her. So in this universe, Sally has Disney princess abilities? Well, it works, and oh, now right. the team has a buzz bomber on their side. I'm surprised Sonic didn't accidentally destroy the friendly buzz bomber when destroying all of those other badniks. An earthquake causes Sally's group to get surrounded by lava. Boomer and Antoine are rescued by the buzz bomber, while Sonic rescues Sally. You know, Sonic, it's not a good time to flirt with her. More trouble will arise in the form of Dr. Eggman himself. No, oh, it's not going like you about to... That, his freaking head talk, his freaking head talk penis is about to come out and be like, This is the day. They ain't gonna... But see, that would be weird they just fucked in the face of danger. No, Neville. It would be the greatest thing in the world. <laughs> you just want to piss off the sun. Amy fans. I kinda do in a sense. Just the ones that are kinda assholes and don't like to use logic. Like again, I thought the pretty I thought there were a lot of good Sun Amy fans, but others are just kinda mmm. Other man, I remember when I was a teenager bugs and a whole bunch of like I used to roleplay with one of these the uh, anti Sally fans, and they were just, they were god awful. I mean, I get you don't like a character, but don't say she's evil. Don't say she's this and that just because you don't like her, just because Sonic had her first. I mean, that's the one thing I really hated about being, like, uh, that's the one thing I hate about Sonic Amy. Remember, in the comics and in Sat AM, you, you know, we have Sonic, we have we have Son Alley, which is Sonic and Sally. You guys have Sonic and Sonic X. If you guys really believe that freaking... If you guys really believe that Amy is with freaking Sonic and Sonic X, even though me and, me and the guys do not believe it, and don't you dare take it the wrong way, we just don't see it like that. I feel like Sonic just... He cares for... If we're going to be in the game canon and in 
the Sonic X canon, he only cares about her as a friend. And that's always, that's what it's always going to be. He did, He gave her the flower because, you know, it was late and, you know, it was late and he knew and he would worry about him. There wasn't really a romantic subtext. You guys always imagine it, but it's not there. I mean, if, I mean, you guys are seeing stuff that isn't there, and I know we're going to get a lot of flack for that, but it's the truth. Well, I wouldn't say it's not there. It's just they do read into it a lot. They read into it way too much. After Sonic and Eggman insultingly identify each other, their fight begins. Sonic hops on columns in lava <laughs> while Eggman blasts behind the Marvel him zone, until it? Sonic yeah. runs out of column. Luckily, the good Buzz Bomber sacrificed itself, distracting Eggman, so Sonic can simultaneously escape the lava area and defeat Eggman. He retreats saying once his master plan is complete, they will all pay. Well, once he figures out said plan and the mm -hmm. purpose of that glorious battle station, Sally thanks the Flicky for her help, and the group heads towards the underground passage. And the issue ends with them entering a familiar and frustrating hey, place. Hey, I bet you Richard Coon is like, aw, oh, oh, Sally. You have Richard Coon in your universe too? Yeah. Is your the same as ours? Indeed. Bugs, if you ain't gonna like this. But you know how you're doing Sonic Freedom Fighters? Yeah. In my world, there is a Sonic Freedom Fighters officially, but guess who writes and directs it? And has and ma basically made and basically sexualized Sally more than she ever was. Oh god. Oh god. I took a tour of my universe, and I took a tour of the studio where it's made, and he has so many Sally dolls in this one closet, and they're so crusty with semen. Oh shit, man. I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? Because, man, know what you did, know what you have to deal with Richard Kuda in some sort of position of power? I bet you not even. I bet you the episodes in your world doesn't even show Sonic or any other character. It's just Sally's ass for like thirty minutes. <laughs> Which I don't mind. Man. I don't mind Bugsy, but like shit, if that's all it is. Like man, just do porn. Don't freaking, don't freaking mute. Don't freaking use the time that you could be making an awesome Sonic series just to animate Sonic's booty hole. It's obvious at this point that this issue begins the Sonic 1 adaption. I'm going to jump the gun a bit, but the next issue concludes this adaption, and the final two issues of this miniseries tackle Sonic 2. Being an adaption of Sonic 1, there is of course differences from the source material. For example, Sniffly's the one driving the ball and chain eggmobile. Heck, the fact that there are sad AM slash comic characters in this story, period. And there are differences between these incarnations of the characters and the characters when the Genesis Wave was activated. Snively despised his uncle in the old universe, but here he admires him. Rotor, or in this case Boomer, his childhood nickname, is not crippled. In fact, he's pretty strong in this incarnation. Antoine's a full-on scaredy cat compared to his original self. Though to be fair, his original self started out like this before character development. Yep. Also, Antoine's last name is Depardieu instead of De Coolet. It's more than likely a shout out to his Sat AM cartoon counterpart who also had that surname. Then we have Sally. We don't know if this incarnation's a princess, but she's in charge of her little group. And there's that scene. I mean, it would it be wrong if we just had this comic kind of ne next to Sonic? Universe in the main Sonic book, you know, kind of showing, um, kind of showing Sega. Yeah, people do want these characters, and this is how it would have went if they were in it. I mentioned earlier. Plus, she's not switched cheese at the moment, so that's something, I guess. 
Our two game characters, Sonic and Eggman, are what you'd expect. Sonic's cocky while at the same time fighting for those who can't fight back, and yep. Eggman has a big ego and hates losing. So far, the plot follows the game. Not, Sonic's stopping Eggman from not, putting little okay, animals I, inside I do my, uh, and ruining the one, environment. Um, I do my SA1 robotic. He's not going to get away with this. I am Robotic. I am Dr. Robotnik, the greatest scientific genius in all the world! Are you gonna, like, do that for when uh, Robotnik switches to Eggman? Yeah. Because, yeah, I still wanna voice Egg. I still wanna voice Robotnik slash Eggman, uh, and even there will be a war between, like, regular Robotnik and actual Eggman, and I wanna fucking do it. Because, like, again, because again, I love Saturn Robotic, but the Eggman that I got will be like it's kinda like how they have him in the comic. He's 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 comical to a point, but he's not really a person you wanna fuck with at the same time. There are a couple of other plot points that will be more important as the mini series goes on. First, the Earthquakes, which Sally and company believe to be more of Eggman's handiwork. Spoilers, they're right. The Earthquakes are also responsible for some gimmicks found in game levels. <laughs> for example, Marble Zone's lava sections. Marble, Marble we'll Zone, Marble Zone, Marble Zone, Marble Zone. I fucking hate that level. So do I, so do I, so do I, so do I. Marble Zone, Marble Zone, why do you suck so much? You slow us fucking down, fucking down, fucking down. We'll never freaking enjoy this. And that's why we hate you. Mad Spring Yard Zone is so much better than all the other freaking zones, but every time we freaking play Marble, 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 Marble Zone, Marble Zone, Marble Zone, why do you slow us down? Because your lava will never freaking let us move. We don't want to lose our rings, our rings, our rings. We're down to one life. Oh shit, our last ring. Go grab it. Doom, 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 doom. Neville, that was awesome. Yeah, I know. It's cool. I'll do some other Sonic songs later? Yeah. The series continues. Nice. The second plot point involves memory. Throughout this part, Sonic's had brief bouts of deja vu, including naming Badnix and feeling like hanging out with Sally's group is right. Other characters will have some memory flashes later in this miniseries. Finally, we have the art. The cover mimics <laughs> the North American box art for Sonic 1, and the trend continues for the next couple of issues. The cover artist Baz also did the breakdown penciling. Tracy Yardley did the finishing touches, and this trend will continue next issue. So far, the art's looking great. This issue gets an 8. There's some fun elements here, and it's a good what start What if we ever got a, like, a Sonic 1 remake, and they actually do include the Freedom Fighters, thus making another... thus making an alternate timeline for the games? Hmm. Dude, they're doing One Punch Man! Dude, I heard about that. I heard about that. Uh, anybody gonna do Mystic Ruins? <laughs> Mystic Ruins is just a bunch of tribal chants. We can't, and there's not really anything we can do with that. You know what I don't like about uh, Crazy Greg's films? What? The fact that the man keeps talking about, like, I didn't want to do it after all the stuff I went through with uh, the one person at the mur after the murder of me and stuff. Like, he keeps talking about, it, like, we all know, but, like, we don't know. I, at least we don't know. <laughs> Like, is when he was still talking about doing comic deaths and stuff. I actually kind of like the murder of me, though. It has an interesting story. Now, Sonic and 
Sonic and Shadow and Silver are like probably the descendants of God and stuff like that. Probably just gonna read the rest of the stuff on DA and just imagine the voices in my head, I guess. Oh yeah. Who wants to who wants to fuck the puppet? Okay, if we're talking about Five Nights at Freddy's, no. But if we're talking about Five Nights at Anime, man, call me when you're doing that video. Um, I'm down. You're down? Why? Why is video your other is talking about this? Mm. I wouldn't even talk about that PSA, man. You get all these cartoons together, and they're just telling you don't do drugs. I'm not saying we should have like a big fucking tournament or something. Just something where they all interact. Is voice acting good for religions of the Breath of the Wild? Yes. God, yes. I ain't freaking go with anything these guys say because really... Guys, it's enough is enough. I mean, I understand you guys don't want to do any more... I mean, you guys don't want voice acting because Mario tried it and it wasn't really the best. But, you know, Nintendo needs to make risk. They need to make risk. They need to take risk in these, like, uh, games. And if they're going to do these movies, they got to do that, too. So they got to not be afraid to... They gotta not, they gotta not be afraid of their they gotta not, they gotta not be afraid to break the status quo. So anybody gonna play that uh, Unreal? Unreal Dragon Ball uh, Dragon Ball Unreal? I want to. Dragon Ball fans from all around the world, we have some more information coming off of Dragon Ball Unreal and some updates that I want to share with you guys here today. Now, Emud Shits, the creator of this game, I will link his stuff down in the description below, guys. Go on ahead and help support Dragon Ball Unreal. Has some really awesome updates for you guys. Now, courtesy of the footage shown right here, I was actually given permission by Emud to showcase this. Now, first things first, Emud has heard your cries, he's heard your feedback, he's heard your demands, and Emud is actually going to include several characters in the game. One of which being Black Goku, Goku Black. The very character that we're going to be witnessing battle Goku live tonight will be included in Dragon Ball Unreal. As you guys can see, Black Goku is indeed confirmed for Dragon Ball Unreal, as you guys can see right above. And of course, alongside with that, some new graphics, sound details. Can that we fight right him? The maps now. First things first, uh, Emud has actually updated and fixed the graphics and the uh, the overall sound system for the game. Now, uh, the game itself before, prior to the update, uh, did not allow you to feature uh, nor have any sound effects when you fly. So actually, Emud has completely fixed that. In a oh, lot dude. Of uh, every single time you pretty much burst through the air. This looks too, this looks like so real. I like it. What do you guys think? Eh. I mean, for fan, for fan game standards, it's pretty good. I wish my world had something like this. What? What? Are people, like, just uncreative in your world? No, no, no. They're not. I just think, you know, there's had to have been a person who did, who did something like this. Copyright is... Copyright over my world is kind of a bitch. I mean, they're getting most of it... They're, Kind of get, they're kind of getting rid of like, they're in my world. They're kind of getting rid of the whole fair use, I mean, not fair use, but they're trying to get rid of all these companies that are basically trying to flag everybody. And it's kind of succeeding, and every time a company falsely flags a video in my world, they're the ones that get taxed. They lose a grip of money. So some, so some. So some companies in my universe are like, why even bother? I wish that's how it went in our universe. <sighs> yeah. 
I seen what goes on in your universe. That sucks. Is are we is Mokov like a famous thing in your universe? Well, sort of. It's looked fondly by the people who used to see it. Basically. So working for Reyes and everything, you just kind of stopped. No, I haven't stopped. Just kind of tooled the show in a different direction. Kind of the direct, kind of, kind of the direction that you tend to go to. Really? Mm-hmm. I mean, in my universe, it works. I don't know if your universe is gonna like it, but uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, some, some, well, something that will probably still a little bit of hope in you. Well, I'm gonna go, Bugs. You're probably gonna end the video, aren't you? Yeah. Could have me on, Niffle. Dude, and you can chill here anytime you want. I don't care if you want to bring one of your little circles so you can, like, teleport here every so often, you can. If Reyes, is, if Reyes like gets pregnant with he says baby, and that's getting you down, you always got a place here. Thanks, man. Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome, buddy. Just remember, don't be a stranger. And if you are going to come, like, knock, or... I don't really ask my other versions to do this if they're going to come and visit, like... You know, bring something like bring some chips or something because we might just like hang out and be nice. Some bring some chips to dip. Eh, you probably like the ones I like, so I'll bring some of that. It's really nice to hang out with you guys. Nice to hang out with you too. See you guys later. See you guys later. And Bugsy. Give me your. Let me have a contract with you. You, you, you serious? No, man. No, you're the only you and the rest of rest of the rest of the look the rest of the uh, family look like. I'm not gonna have a contract with you. You're f basically free, and since you're a chaotic being still, um, it wouldn't really work with you. So. <laughs> Just a little joke. <sighs> well, that's good. Yeah, I'd probably be like you saying we just sit around watching some anime or playing some Sonic. That's probably all we do. But uh, yeah, I'll see you later. I'm Bugsy. I'm on Sakamaru, and I'm I'm also I'm Double Man Bugsy, but I'm all. Also known as Neffel. Neffel because, well, devil. Mm, devil thing, I thought, eh. Well, Bugsy calls you Neffel because, you know, it's easier that way, or Neff. Neff. I kind of like Neff. <laughs> Neff? Yeah, I don't mind calling you Neff. So I'll see so we'll see you guys later. Oh no, I might be a regular on this channel too, so I don't know. Probably fill in for uh their version of Harima when he's not around. So I'll, so we'll be seeing ya. And see you guys later. And this has been the Big Three Network. If you liked our video, give us a like and subs like and subscribe. And if you would be so kind, comment, because it helps these guys ever so much. And if it, and if it wasn't for people like you, and, and if it wasn't for people like, if it wasn't for people that are generous, like in my dimension, I probably wouldn't be where I am with YouTube as it is. So, you know, just show, the, show these two a little bit of love. Thanks, thanks, Neff. Eh, no problem. I'll see you guys later. I'll probably, I'll probably pop by the bar later on in the night if you guys are opening. 
Eh, no, here, take a key. Are you giving me a key? You know, if you wanna like take some of our booze, you can. Just, just take only what you can. Take only a little bit, man. Because you know we still open up every now and again. Okay. You know I can I can give you as a shipment if you want. Oh, that'd be cool. Well, we're making this video too long, guys. See you guys later. Bye, guys. See ya. I mean, see. I mean, see ya. Sorry, man. It's hard to turn off sometimes. It's hard to turn off.